I can hear rain outside. So, today is our three year anniversary of being married on Facebook. So, I figured I would make a video uh, with some points that I really like about our actual friendship. Because usually, like, I talk about the things I like about you, you talk about the things I like you like about me, and we don't really talk about the actual coming together of us. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. First off is actually something that you pointed out a couple months ago, which is that we've been essentially best friends for actually over three years now. But really, only half of it, we were actually, not even half, if you count breaks during undergrad, um, less than half of it, we were actually, like, in, within, like, a couple of miles of each other. <laughs> well, really, within, like, 200 or something miles of each other. And so for a good chunk of it, either we were at least two and a half, three hours away, or we've been on entirely different coasts. But despite this, you know, we still are best friends and we still talk about everything and tell each other everything and always turn to the other person. So I think that's a testament of the strength and vigor that we have. We'll also give things a go, which sort of, I guess, is a loose version of we trust each other. Like, if one of us recommends something then the other will give it a shot, even if it's something that's not usually within your normal range that you would normally do. Like, you are the only reason I am even vaguely familiar with Lady Gaga. I hope you're proud of yourself. We have a stable friendship, and, you know, I'm a sucker for stability. But, like, we've never really fought about anything. Everyone and their grandmother knows that we're exclusive in a best friends kind of way. We knew that we're exclusively each other's. And as a side note, exclusive seems like a really weird word to use for there because of the X meaning like outer or you know external. So wouldn't you think that that would refer to an open relationship? Whereas saying if that we had an, uh, what, what would be the option? Inclusive relationship. An inclusive relationship would then mean a monogamous relationship, wouldn't you think? <laughs> and you know, we can have semantic and linguistic conversations like that and be totally okay with it. And then we will segue seamlessly into Doctor Who, or baking bread, or medieval rape, and just continue bouncing on like that for hours, and occasionally even circling back 45 minutes ago, or later. <laughs> to something that we had talked about 45 minutes ago. We're dabblers, and the good thing about both of us being dabblers is that it just gives us this wealth and things that we can do, things that we can talk about, things, URLs that we can pass on. So we're never boring or being bored. After three plus years, we still fascinate each other. My convoluted, guilty conscience and unexpectedly pessimistic outlook toward the way events unfold, or don't unfold, <laughs> intrigues you, and your bouts of private prudity and your self-doubt just captivate me. <laughs> we judge our own success by where the other one is in life. We analyze things to death, we will just run circles around them for hours or even years, and I like that because it means that our neuroses sync up quite nicely. And I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to go about explaining this one, but both of our- I like that both of our lives kind of interact strangely, like, with the big things, like, I don't know, dating or some particularly special financial thing or college or something like that. We take them in turns, so for the big things, we, um, one of us has something going on really, really big, and so that person can complain about it and worry about it and da 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 da. And the other person doesn't have to worry about their own stuff, so they can feel free to totally go, ah, let me help you in any way that I can. And it works out. 
and for the smaller things we take those at the same time like stupid little things like not having anything to do that day or just not being productive even though, even though you ought to be doing something that day or just generally blah days you know they happen to us simultaneously so we can compete and gripe and just share our over dramatized misery together those are just a couple but i wanted to say that i love our friendship <laughs> i love us <laughs>